It's one of my favorites too. Hi boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Oliver and this is Joey. Yeah, he just tells you that so you don't think he's the dummy. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm just kidding, okay. Today, episode three, is uh, a book of, well, one of our favorites. It's called Stubby, The Giraffe Who Wouldn't Take Chances by Dennis Morgan from the Morgan Music Group in Nashville, Tennessee. This book, well, it's just, it's not only a great story, it's one of our favorite songs as well. And Joy and I recorded it, we certainly did, yeah, years ago in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's on one of our Positively Positive Day albums that we offer on our website. You can get this book, this great book, I don't know, yeah, at Morgan Music Group in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. At, uh, see, that would be 615-321-9029 to get your copy. Well, anyways, this is a great book, and it's a great story. Yeah, you already said that. Would you come on, get with it? I want to hear the story. Okay, all right. Here we go. Out on the savannah of Masimba, Masebi, there was born a giraffe. Baby, baby, yes. A shy little guy who got no respect because he never learned how to stick out his neck. He didn't... He didn't learn how to stick out his neck yet. Yeah. Well, sometimes he gotta do that. I know, yeah. How come he didn't learn? Well, we'll get to that. Okay, all right. So the other giraffes made fun, and I don't mean maybe. They say, study, 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 study. The giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Keep going. Study, 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 study. He got a lot of peculiar glances. From his feet to his back, he is just as regular as heck. From there on up, well, there's just no neck. Oh, stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. The giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Yes. You see? Little stubby. Short neck, yeah. That must have been a challenge. It must have been. Well, let's see what goes on. Okay, all right. The other giraffe said, let's play ball. They're not you, Stubby, you're just too small. Stubby looked at them, and they were so tall, he never even tried at all. Oh, yes. The other giraffes said, let's read a book. The, then they hung it up high on a tree branch you hook. They laughed at Stubby when he stretched to look, so he never even tried at all. Oh, study, study, stud, stud, study. The giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. He got a lot of peculiar glances. From his feet to his back, he's regular as heck. But from there on up, there's just no neck. Oh, stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. The giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Well, there's more. Good, keep going, okay. The other giraffe said, let's solve a riddle. The not you, study, and they started to giggle. How could you have brains? You're all middle. So he never even tried at all. Yes. The other giraffe said, let's sing a song. And Stubby wanted to sing along. The only open his mouth, it came out wrong. So he never even tried at all. Hmm. Oh, keep going. Okay. So stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. The giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. He still got a lot of peculiar glances. From his feet to his back, he's as regular as heck. But from there on up, there's just no neck. Oh, stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. The giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Show him the pictures. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Well, then came the day of the big grass fire. The smoke and the flames grew higher and higher. Oh, no! Those tall giraffes were about to expire. They were about to die. How come? Because they couldn't even breathe at all. The smoke and the fire. What happened? Tell them. Stop your hand under that cloud of smoke to the nearest village to get all the fire them folks. He saved the day and he never once choked and he never even cried at all. Well, that short neck came in handy. Stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. 
the giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Study, 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 study. He got a lot of peculiar glances. From his feet to his back, he's still regular as heck. But from there on up, there's still no Nick. But stubby, stubby, stub, stub, stubby. He was the tallest giraffe of all. He saved everybody from dying in the fire. Yes, because he was different. He was able to go under the smoke and save everybody. Yes, Stubby was different. He was special. And that's horse. Well, that's what makes you special when you're different. Yes, Stubby's my hero. Well, he's one of my heroes too. And that's the story of Stubby the giraffe who wouldn't take chances. Well, we're going to have more stories every week, every Friday here at Todd Oliver's Storytime. Subscribe to us. Uh, turn on those uh, the buttons that, um, what do they do? You don't know what to do? Well, they, uh, they alert you. The notifications. That's right. Turn on your alert and notifications button. The way I think I know more about it than you. <laughs> you're okay. Well, you're okay, too. You know, you're one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you're one of my best friends too, Todd. Really? Yes, yes, yes. You know, I, I think it's going to be great doing Todd Oliver story time. I think it's going to be great doing Todd Oliver story time too. Tell all your friends, come back and see us every Friday or on the weekend or whenever you can tune in and see our stories. And remember, you can find these great stories at your library. Just get a library card, a library card. I got mine. You got yours? I'm no dummy. <laughs> That's right. Library cards are free. Just go to your public library and tell the nice people there that you'd like a library card. And you can check out all kinds of wonderful stories and uh, great books that can make you think about what you want to do when you grow up. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and we'll all read together. And we'll all read together. So boys and girls, stay well, stay safe, be good for mom and dad, and we'll talk to you later. God bless you. Thank you. Bye now. Oh, hey, everybody, make sure you comment down below on all the books that you'd like us to read on Todd Oliver and Friends Storytime, and we'll do our best to read those fun stories for you. The stories have to be clean, family-friendly, and fun. And I hope they'll inspire everyone. Thank you now. <laughs>